All right, Shalom. Giving our praises, glory, and honors unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakhah Kodash, the blindness to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Peace and bless to the hopeful elect. Uh, it's Brother Tazar from GMS Atlanta, back with another lesson. All right, GMS News and Prophecy. And uh, <clears throat> this here is an article from Unilad.com. And it's dealing with the upcoming uh, solar eclipse that's going to occur in the skies over North America this week. This is a heavy time in prophecy. This is um, something that we have to pay attention to and watch. And that we must understand if we are going to... Um, you know, no one know what time we're in when it comes to the end of this man's society. I'm speaking about Edom and the destruction of this world and the coming of our Savior, Yahweh Shai. All right. And it says, uh, how to see the rare ring of fire solar eclipse this week that won't be visible again until 2046. All right. And the last uh, solar eclipse we had Major solar eclipse we had was in, uh, what was that, 2017? So about six years ago. All right. And then there's another eclipse that's going to occur uh, in early 2024. All right. But this is definitely prophecy coming to pass. All right. So it says, prepare to look up to the skies later this week. Because you'll have the chance to witness a solar eclipse that won't be visible again until 2046. And by the time in <laughs> so-called 2046, all right, uh, it's definitely my belief that we'll be in the kingdom. All right. I mean, the way that, I mean, the fact that we're having this solar eclipse and it's not going to be for another, what, 23 years until this happens, um, you know, America, Babylon the Great doesn't have that much time left. All right. Uh, <clears throat> we already have a uh, major conflict occurring in uh, the Middle East, okay, in uh, Israel. All right. Um, in the state of Israel. And we have um, major earthquakes, all right, that's happening. They hit uh, Afghanistan, and now we have this eclipse. So, you know, things are moving quick. Oh, and the MOTB, okay, uh, which is the sea here, which is going to uh, be implanted inside the forehead in particular, the neural link or the BCI brain computer interface is already being set up for human trials. So we're in 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 the time of uh it's all going down. <clears throat> okay. Uh let's see here. All right, we jump down. So it says set to occur on October 14th. The eclipse is nicknamed the Ring of Fire. Solar eclipse, because the sun's light will shine out around the dark shadow of the moon. It will be visible in the skies over North, Central, and South America, with NASA running a live stream to share views from Albuquerque, New Mexico, uh, Kirbyville, Texas, and White Sands, New Mexico. Locals are being encouraged to get out and see the site for themselves if they can, as Kelly Corrick, Eclipse Program Manager at NASA, pointed out, it won't be possible to see again anytime soon. Okay? So a, a number of scriptures come to mind. Um, in particular, which is Joel, the second chapter. I'm sorry, Joel. Third chapter. Which this is a major chapter too. Um, matter of fact, another prophecy 
that's uh, manifesting itself. Joel 3 and 9, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up, and that's happening. All right? You have different militaries mobilizing. Um, you have uh, America sending out a uh, a warship. I'm sorry, a carrier out uh, around the uh, Levant region to back up the state of Israel in this conflict with Hamas. So they're preparing their militaries, and that's including. What's well, already been going on, yeah, you know, you had different war games with Russia, China, and Iran. So we're in that time, man, okay, of all the men of war drawing near. But let me get to the point with this eclipse. Uh, let me see here. Joel. Three. I'm sorry, let me go to Joel 2. Okay. Joel 2 and around the 30th verse, 2 and 30. I was thinking 3 and 30, yep. Joel 2 and 30, which this also, you know, this chapter is uh, is also dealing with uh, war. All right, let me get Joel 2 and 20. It says, but I will remove far off from you the northern army, which is American, all right, and will drive him into a land barren and desolate. That's the Middle East. With his face toward the East Sea, which would be the Red Sea, and his hand apart toward the utmost sea, the Persian Gulf. Because in between the Red Sea and the uh, the Persian Gulf, you have that Saudi Arabian Peninsula, which is pretty much a desolate desert and wilderness. Okay? So that's the area that the Lord is setting up for these armies to go to. It says, And his stink shall come up, and his ill savor shall come up, because he has done great things. And this is going to the mass casualties of the uh, military of Babylon the Great being destroyed. Uh, as the War of Armageddon takes place. Or World War Three, In that land. So now let me jump down. Dealing with this eclipse. The day of the Lord. It says in verse uh, 12, 2 and 30. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth. Blood and fire and pillars of smoke. So the wonders in the heavens are what? They're talking about these different sites you see. Uh, these uh, celestial heavenly sites like these eclipses. It says the sun shall be turned into darkness. That's a solar eclipse. When the sun is darkened in the middle of the day, that's an eclipse. And the moon and the blood. And we've had a number of different blood moons, all right, where the moon was uh, turned uh, 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 um, dark red orange or, or, or uh, red, dark red color, all right? Lunar eclipses. It says, before the great and the terrible day of the Lord come, Yahweh, right? What you got these two... Uh, to uh, fools in Mississippi changing the name of the Lord and, and, and saying his name is the Grand Machbot, whatever, you know. But the name of the Lord is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shah, and we proclaim these names, all right? Verse 32, and this is why we must pray that we are the elect, because the deliverance is going to come through the chosen of the Israelites. To the chosen of the Israelites, which are us so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans and those of us descended, scattered all over the planet Earth. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. All right. So you have to call on the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. And hey amen. Look, we've come too far into this ministry and there's been too many Israelites waking up via the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Not God, not Christ, not Jesus, not this 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 crap about these two fools in Mississippi saying that the names of the Lord are are, are grand grand mockba or whatever. Okay. Anybody waking up off them those names and nobody's going because that's not the name of the Lord. So you have to call on the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Alright? 
It says, for in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord Yahweh hath said, and in the remnant, which the remnant are those that remain, the elect, the chosen, whom the Lord Yahweh shall call. Yahweh Bashmi Shai. You know? Uh, so, yeah, you know, we got wars, rumors of wars, skirmishes. You know, you got earthquakes um, happening. All right, the MOTB could be here in a matter of months, being pushed out into the public. And uh, we have this eclipse, this, um, this eclipse that's um, coming, all right, this week, you know. As a matter of fact, uh, it'll be October 14th, right? So that'll be a Saturday, so a camp day. You know, so it's going to be a heavy, 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 uh, high spiritual day, Saturday, October 14th, um, with this eclipse, this solar eclipse, you know, it's going to come. So, you know, with that, you know, I give all praise and glory and honors unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and others of the great millstone. I say Shalom.